we have added, subtracted, and multiplied mixed numbers. So, what's the next logical step? Well, we'll divide mixed numbers. But before we divide mixed numbers, let's go back and review some of our key concepts. Okay, so number one key concept is turning a mixed number into an improper fraction. And the way we do that is we go here and here. We multiply here and we add here. So if we multiply the, the denominator times the whole number, we get 4. And you can write that down if you'd like. And then we add the numerator. So 4 plus 1 is 5. And now we're going to keep our denominator. 5 over 2. So 2 and 1 half as an improper fraction is, is 5 over 2. Or 5 halves. Now, another key concept that we're going to look at is the idea that when we that when we change these numbers, so we use the improper fraction we just found, 5 over 2, we multiply it by, let's say, 3 over 2. Now, the reason that multiplication is so straightforward compared to addition and subtraction is all we do is we multiply straight across. So 5 times 3 is 15. And then 2 times 2 is 4. So our answer here is 15 over 4. But when we're dealing with mixed numbers like we obviously were we're going to make that improper fraction back into a mixed number. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to put 4, the denominator, on the outside, and 15, the numerator, on the inside of the division house. So we're going to say, how many times is 4 going to 15? Well, if you've watched my division videos thus far, the way that I'm going to recommend doing this, if you don't know off the top of your head, is write down your multiplication tables. And I know what I'm looking for, so I'm going to write them down to 4. Okay, 4 times 1 is 4. 2 times 4 is is 8, 3 times 4 is 12, and 4 times 4 is 16. Now, 16 is bigger than 15, so that can't be our answer. But 12 isn't, so what do we multiply? 3 by 4. So if we put 3 here, 3 times 4 is 12. Now our last step is we're going to subtract. 15 minus 12 is 3. Now that 3, unlike regular division, is going to go over your 4. So our answer is going to be 3 and 3 fourths. And that's our complete final answer. And I tried to I tried to figure out how I can give my arm a break and um, just 
write this like we would on a piece of paper, but um, and that didn't work out. My board's too big. So maybe when I get my smaller boards from class, I can do that. Okay. Now today, we're going to divide mixed numbers. Dividing mixed numbers is almost exactly like multiplying mixed numbers. There's just one difference. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So let's make up two sets of mixed numbers. I think we're too close here. Okay, so we've got two and one half because I think that's a good mixed number divided by three and one third. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So we're going to multiply here and then we're going to divide here. 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 plus 4 we're going to add here, I'm sorry. 4 plus 1 is 5. So 5 over 2. Now, careful I've 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 tutored for a for a while. I've taught for a while. Um, I just came from middle school. One thing that everybody wants to do is jump ahead. Don't jump ahead. Let's go step by step. Divided by three times three plus one. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. And we keep that over the, the denominator that we already had, which is 3. Okay, so now we've got our mixed numbers out of the way. So we're going to keep, change, flip. Why? Because that's the action. Everybody's going to know how we're dividing fractions. So we keep the first one, 5 over 2. We keep, change, change division to the opposite. So what's the opposite of division? Multiplication. Keep change flip so instead of having 10 over 3 we're gonna have 3 over 10 all right so now we're ready to multiply straight across just like we did in previous videos and in our review. So 5 times 3 is 15 and 2 times 10 is 20. So we've got 15 over 20. But we can we can simplify that. We can divide by the greatest common factor. And as a reminder to find the greatest common factor we just list the factors. Just to refresh your memory. So the greatest common factor is 5. So that's what we're going to divide by. So we're going to divide the top by 5 and the bottom by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. So we've worked this all the way through. So our answer to this problem would be 2 and 1 half divided by 3 and 1 third 
is 3 fourths. And there's really, well, there's always a way to check your work. But looking back at the original problem, um, checking your work won't be as easy. So you've got to really be confident in your abilities. And I think we went through we went through a standard explanation here. So I'm gonna give you a second to digest this, to write it down. And I'll keep talking in a little bit and we'll do another example. I hope everybody's got that. You know the the good thing the good thing about these videos is that you can you can refer to them whenever whenever you need to. You can refer to them whenever you need help. And I hope that's what you're doing. Alright, so now let's look at a let's look at a new problem. Oh, hang on guys. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm good. So, I'm just making these up. Five and one fifth. Divided by. Two. And two thirds. Alright. So, our first step. We're going to make our mixed numbers in the improper fractions. So we're going to multiply here and we're going to add there. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 plus 1 is 26. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, my allergies have been driving me crazy. And it didn't help that we sat outside and ate lunch. <coughs> yesterday. So, now we're going to multiply here. We're going to multiply and add. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So, we're going to 8 on top. 8 is going to be the new numerator. And we're going to keep the denominator, so we're going to keep 3 on the bottom. Now we've got rid of our mixed numbers. So our next step is we're going to divide. So let's divide, let's, um, well, we're, we're going to divide, which is going to lead to multiply. So how do we divide, how do we divide fractions? Keep, change, flip. Because that's the action. So we're going to keep 26 over 5. We're going to change the vision to the opposite, which is multiplication. And we're going to flip 8 over 3 to become 3 over 8. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick later on, but... The, this trick's a little bit a little bit um further than I want to go here, so let's let's just straight multiply across. So we know eight times five is forty. So if you can't see this, don't worry about it. It's no big deal. We can come do some side work. On the side. 26 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. So 26 times 3 is 78. Now. 
We've got two things that we can do with this fraction. And the first thing that I would suggest, because otherwise you're going to be dealing with some really big numbers here, is simplify. So if we simplify, first of all, they're both even, so we can always simplify by 2. And if you don't want to write out the... Um, the common or the factors that's what I would suggest doing first so 78 divided by 2 is 2 goes into 7 3 times with 1 left over so 78 divided by 2 is 39 and 40 divided by 2 is 20 so look at that. We can't we can't divide again. But here's what we can do. So or here's what we need to do. Twenty goes on the outside of the house. Thirty nine goes underneath. So thirty nine is almost forty, and we know that twenty goes into forty two times. So twenty is only going to go into thirty nine once. 1 times 20 is 20. When we subtract, we get 19. So this is actually an amazing, amazingly nasty looking fraction. But that's what you get when you just make up, make up the problems. So the answer here is 1 and 19 over 20. And that's our final simplified converted answer. So the biggest things to remember when you're doing division of mixed numbers or when you're doing division of fractions period, I think is to make sure that, that you go in order with your steps. I used to I used to tutor a seventh grader who didn't go in order with the steps, and he was great with um, being able to solve the problem without going in order of the steps, which is great. That's unbelievable. That's a really good um, skill to have. But once in a while, he would mess up and. Um, he would be embarrassed because he messed up. But, you know, no embarrassment here. We're here to learn. I'm here to teach. Um, we learn by making mistakes, and we fix those mistakes, and that's what's called learning. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.